guys welcome to my room oh hi everyone it's amy welcome to or welcome back to my channel today we're doing a dorm tour slash suite tour we're really doing everything i'm a freshman at yale and a lot of the freshmen live on old campus so this is a tour of my dorm and then the whole suite as you can see i'm in a double so i have a roommate so i guess we can start with my side and then work our way down so over here we have our nice little dandy desk now problem with the desk this chair is so rickety it's a little bit unstable as you can see but you know what we work with it i usually like to keep my desk pretty neat dude i'm one of those people who if there's like a single little speck of clutter like i cannot focus all we have here is a little pumpkin we stole this from the fall festival that yale provided or whatever a little mirror water lamp they gave us this lamp it's kind of bright and then my computer then in this drawer, it literally does not open all the way and it flips down. I just have some random stuff and a bunch of random food. So if you need gummies, I got you. And then we also have this drawer thing here. It just has, you know, the regular. It has some random stuff. I have a lot of my books here as well. This is movable, so you really can position it anywhere. The thing is you need to go on the chair to go on the bed. So that's why I put it here. So now this is my bed, everyone. I'm pretty proud of this setup. First off with the bed, it's so unstable. I should get that checked out. I complain about it yet. I still haven't gotten it checked out. Yes, I'm proud of my throw pillows. We have this sofa one back here, regular pillow. These throw pillows are from Society6. Look at how cool that is, bro. Obviously I need my pillow pet, so I brought that from home. And then an Ikea one. Comforter is from Ikea. This is the softest rug I have ever felt. It is from Home Good. Everyone needs to come to my room to feel it. Isn't it the softest thing you've Felt faith. Okay, thank you. And then I also have a mattress pad. You can't see it because it's under my bed, but I definitely recommend mattress pad if you like like a softer bed. And then for my wall, pretty proud of this. Honestly, most proud of this. I just got a bunch of pictures from the internet and then I made a collage. Some of them are myself or like pictures that I've taken. I really like pastels if you couldn't tell. So that's what we're working with here for the shelf i don't want to put anything too heavy i know a lot of my friends have like books on theirs but i'm too scared it's gonna like fall down on me when i sleep so i have a night light here can turn from ikea i feel like literally every student at yale has one of these but they're super convenient tissues for when i cry at night no, this is like a stationary holder but it's super aesthetic and i use up all the stationary ikea plant we have a little pumpkin we went to trader joe's and i didn't buy anything and it was a whole ordeal so i felt bad so i bought a pumpkin i have these little elephants i think my family friend got it from india they're really cute and i just brought them from home let's hope the bed doesn't what if the bed breaks on me ah! Ah! <laughs> up here i really didn't know what i was gonna do with all this space because it's pretty high like dude like I needed storage, so I have four storage boxes. These ones have like sheets and like towels in it. This one has like random bath care, skin care. Is bath care a word? And then this one has a lot of food. There's a lot of like fruit strips in there. I think I have like a hundred fruit strips. And then a nice little snake plant. You literally only have to water it once a month and I probably would kill something. So that's the plant for me. And I hung up some vines, as you can see. We also have like these lights, these like string like kind of things. They're like light bulbs. I'll put a picture here. It's hard to describe, but they looked really strange on the ceiling. So they're just up here. So when I plug it in at night, it's like kind of vibey because the whole thing is like glowy. All right. And then here, this little nook and cranny, we have some bags here. Yoga mat. This is to inspire me to work out. Will I work out? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> and mini trash can there. What's good about a high bed? I can put my dresser underneath, which is really convenient. So I also have my textbooks on top of my dresser, you know, base preservation and my bars of soap. I just have a bunch of clothes in here. Let's just look at this one drawer because it has so much trouble opening up. Like, do you see how much I have to work? <laughs> All right, see, it's not coming up, but I don't want to embarrass myself even more, so bye. Yeah, we just have a lot of clothes there. On to the closet. For the closet, so we have three closets. The dorm is set up weird, like the hallway you'll see, it's kind of like a semi-circle. I don't know, it's like not like straight. Girl, what are you talking about? This one we share right here, so we just have a mirror. Hi, Faith. Thank you, Faith, for filming. <laughs> Little outfit check right here. We just got up to film this, so 
so deal with us basically we share this one because it is the smallest one my roommate has her stuff on top i have half the closet my closet was literally overflowing so i put all my outerwear jackets here and I have my shoe rack there that's her trash can there and her bag. I think the highlight of the closet is this mirror. We're pretty proud of this mirror. Definitely recommend like a closet mirror. It's just like stickable. Stickable, is that the right word? So yeah, you can take your daily fit pics there. Totally don't do that myself. This is my roommate's closet, so I'll leave that alone. And this is my closet. Ooh, so I'm actually pretty proud of this closet based on like how much stuff I can fit into such a small space. I just organize everything by types of clothing. So we have short sleeves, long sleeves, sweaters, jackets, slash sweatshirts. And then of course my sheep robe, who can live without that? I also have this like extension thing. I got it from my home. It's basically just like adds an additional layer. So I put all of my bottom skirt shorts and then pants on there. Cause I have a lot of pants and I like to like hang them up. And then right here, I'm pretty sure this is like a a shoe rack thing well i've never put shoes in there one so it's clean disclaimer and i just put like all these random things in here like makeup q-tips literally anything and everything then top rack here is just some random stuff extra tissues tupperware that i don't use my friend uses more tupperware water bottle textbook stand i thought i was gonna have textbooks but we don't really have that many textbooks so those are just random things up there right here is just coats bags look at this tote bag i painted or not. These doors are kind of weird and it doesn't fit like quite over it, but I'm really proud of this tote bag as I was saying. Yeah, we painted it. My bucket hat that fell. So those are the closets there. And then this is my roommate's side. It's pretty vibey as well. I think our rooms complement each other really nicely. We share the fan. She also brought her Dyson air purifier, which is really cool. And then we share this light too. This view is pretty insane. We're really high up, so the trees are our buddies here. However, when it's like winter, all the leaves will be dead. So we can see directly at Harkness Tower. And I guess that's one of the most iconic landmarks. Also crazy thing over here, on my corner windowsill, apparently a squirrel lives there. Name him Gus. However, he's not here today, I checked. But I'll insert a picture because we just see him like sleeping there. It's weird because we're like literally so high up. So we do have a um, third roommate. I guess we're in a triple at this point. That is all for my room. Now we're going to go explore the rest of the suite. Let's go. So like I was saying, this hallway is like very weirdly shaped. You see, it goes like a semicircle, which is why I think the closets are so strange. But on our left here, we have the single. So Faith lives in C and then my other friend Mahika lives in this one. Let's go into Faith's room. It's open. I thought it'd be locked. It smells really good. So we have some really cool artwork. Her photo wall is super aesthetic. Her bed too. We really love the color combo here and it matches really well with her posters. They're like pretty spacious, these dorms for Yale and Old Campus specifically. Also, can we take a moment? Her hanging plant is so cool. That is literally the most cool part of the room in my opinion. Now onto the hallway and I guess we'll go to the bathroom next. Welcome to the bathroom. So we have an in-suite bathroom. So that means just six of us girls share one bathroom. We do have to clean it, but it's not really a big deal. We have two sinks right here. Nice mirror right here. We also have some hooks. There's only five hooks. Who's that person who has to bring their towel in every day? I don't know. Oh, Faith is the one who has to like bring her <laughs> towel in every day. I was like, girl, they couldn't have added a six one right here. You don't mind? Okay. Well, this is mine and I just have my stuff. On my right, your left, we have our bathroom here. This is our shower here. Sometimes this thing would move to the side and I literally thought it would be like stuck there because I try moving it. Wouldn't move because I was moving this part instead of like the nozzle thing. So I used to be showering in the corner if like the thing was turned. <laughs> nice little mushroom mat from one of our sweet mates eva which is cool and then on the bottom here we just have all of our like, plies that is all for the bathroom honestly very lucky to have this bathroom within the suite and now on to the common room and as you can see look it's kj making coffee so this is our common room very spacious kj making her coffee we have our coffee table here, supplied by my roommate. We got our teas, espresso, Nespresso machine right here. Yeah. 
when you just don't use the Nespresso machine, but everyone else does. Hot water filter, hot water boiler. These are our Brita filters. Dude, we have so much hot chocolate and I don't think I've ever seen anyone use it. We just have a bunch of snacks. Trash can right here, mirror, and then this is the couch. KJ sitting. Our windows, apparently they found a dead bird outside, so we have to call facilities. We have our microwave and fridge and all these little cute pumpkins. This is probably the highlight. We have a printer in suite. My roommate brought it. Just so much more convenient. There's like a little turret in here. This is so cute. We just have one bag right here and then a bunch of throws here. It's a good place for like reading or just chilling, you know, if you want to be a little bit alone within the suite. And then lastly, we just have some chairs, the table. Table's usually in the middle of the common room, but it's kind of a vibe in a more of an open space like this. So I kind of like it. And a nice tapestry from our suite mate. Then lastly, we got the nice TV from Faith Lights poster yes the vacuum everyone uses this vacuum so thank you faith and then an ironing board i thought i was gonna use it like every day but i have not used it once so pretty much the vibes and now kj will take over the vlog Ooh. am i talking yeah okay we're me and eva are the only people on like the side of the bathroom kind of strange but <laughs> Um, it's really clean right now because she was on break and I cleaned, so it doesn't usually look like this, but it looks like this right now. This is my side, even I both have a desk. The layout is different. I have my little, my little shelf with my little espresso pods, which are very near and dear to my heart, and my emergency, because I've been sick so many times. And then all my school stuff is like in this bag. And now we have made it to the other end of the suite. Look at this little welcome sign that they did for us. So sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you liked the tour. Make sure to subscribe to Amy. Like and comment. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.